Dear learner, in this session, we are going to uh, discuss about P delta check. It's a very important check of a structure. So, uh, if I go for uh, some basic discussion, what is P delta? See here. You're seeing a figure here. When we have no lateral force, then we have no moment or overturning moment on our base of the structure. But when we have lateral force then we'll get a overturning moment and for the uh, lateral force if we get a displaced moment of our structure then uh, if we see uh, the our displacement is del and after del displacement if we have p vertical force then our structure will bend like that because as we have a fixed support here or um, as per the nature as per the nature of our structure we'll get a displacement uh, figure of our structure like that but actual it should be a state in this way so uh, what is the difference between that state and the curve section of our structure so this difference is known as P delta or the value of del displacement okay here so uh for that value we'll go for our p delta check it's a very important for our p delta check and uh here our equation for p delta if you need to study here you may uh, study it but i have created excel sheet and you'll get that excel sheet in comment section or our description now first of all same as previous we need here the level or structure i'll just go here so from here i'll click analyze result then joint output displacement and uh, we need some data like uh, diaphragm mass or center diaphragm mass of center displacement or diaphragm center of mass displacement the same thing we have to take the data for earthquake only so here you'll get that option diaphragm center of mass displacement right click show table see here and uh, for which case we want to take it right click then click here for earthquake here okay and number of a step we have three a step we have three a step okay so equal to one for a step on and here from uh, top to bottom we are getting for a step one and uh, for x we have to take value for it but uh, here see uh, we need the base in top and the top in base as per excel sheet here in base and here is top so i'll go here right click click ascending sorry right click and click descending okay again ascending so i'll copy that value or i'll press ctrl c then come here and paste it here okay and uh, no need that data okay now we need height of the structure uh, already this height is given in inch so uh, if you need to change it you may change it from here then we'll take that value for ux when we'll go for uh, earthquake in x direction then we'll go for ux Here is our value. Select and then press Ctrl C and copy it. Okay. Now okay. 
okay uh when we have taken our data but uh we have to check which data we have taken actually maybe we have taken data in millimeter but here we need data in inch so i'll uh close it i'll go here and same as previous i will change that value in inch then okay if you uh, take that data in inch then inch and if you take the data in millimeter then you have to take that part data in millimeter we'll come here and again i'll go right click show table same uh, we have to go for equal to st step number one then uh, our load for for our earthquake uh ascending then take the data test it here like a value and we will go for a story force for dead load and live load before that we have to check uh, that we have any dead load or dead load so we have no combination for dead load plus live load so what we'll do i'll take dead load plus live load from here dead load live load rope live load okay and again we'll go for result then uh we need now uh we need data for s3 force so from here we'll go for a structure output or joint output then go for that option maybe okay here s3 force right click and show table again we have to take data for earthquake x when you'll take a load case you have to say uh, take same load case then number of a step equal to one and right click and go for ascending uh okay now from here take data uh, from uh, top or bottom right click so let's take for top and bottom it's they have no issue with that and we'll take that, this value before that see is it okay maybe uh this option is not okay we'll take data from this point copy come here and uh, s3 what we have taken actually s3 force or s3 share actually the data we are getting from here this is uh, nothing but yes to share because uh, if i can go back let's close that 
so i'll go here uh, display then uh, story response plot from here we'll go for a story share for all a story and for case wx x okay for a step number one we have taken and if i click here and uh, formatted data see that value was s to the share not force then uh, i'll take we're able to take a data for our top or bottom floor so uh, i'll close it then again i'll go here where our s3 force show table okay so um, from table uh, same we'll go for same step first one then we'll go for our uh, top or bottom it's up to you then we'll go for load combo that is a quick x okay done here is your data and we'll go for ascending everything is okay and here we're getting our data and but we'll take data from that point copy come here and paste it here paste it here then we'll go for p so in same place we'll get that p for p just uh, change the load combo all dead dot plus live load maybe we have to reanalyze for that if we go for all dead dot plus live dot maybe we have to uh, reanalyze or uh, if we take for all live load uh, let's close it and again go for a story show table right right click go for that combo dead load plus live load what is our combo here this is for uh combo dead load and live load and take for top or bottom and here is our data see now just we'll go for ascending and from ascending from that floor We'll take that data control c and come here paste that value here just see uh and uh we need another two value important factor and uh deflection amplification factor i'll i'll go to etaps close it i'll go defend load pattern x modify and here our important factor is on and deflection amplification factor is 5.5 so it will be one and it's 5.5 okay you may take that value as per uh, your code or here it's given as per uh, ac 705 so uh, we're seeing no p delta now what is the issue or what we have to do if we found p delta we have to redesign our structure uh we have to change our column we have to change our share all thickness or actually we have to uh, increase the stability of our structure so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next lecture